for clicking that clickbait title, uh, how I broke my uh, plane in the second time taking it out. So what happened? Uh, I landed and um, right after landing, you know, the, the stress of all the student pilot landings or um, just the stress of you know constant flying, uh, basically broke the shimmy dampener. And as the shimmy dampener broke, it um, it continued to flop around and break other things while it was in there and broke one of the uh, the strut bars or control arms for, for, it was actually the right one, for the right rudder connected to the wheel on the nose gear. And uh, without that, it's pretty hard to turn right. Um, second time out as a student pilot, and uh, second time out solo, and it was uh, it was nerve wracking to say the least. And when air traffic control started trying to talk to me in the middle of it, um, asking if I wanted to go around, I did not want to go around. I wanted to get far away from that runway as possible. Um, and so you'll you'll see it. I've got the whole video queued up uh, for both lines around the pattern. Um, and if you want to, click down in the um, description below to go straight straight to the second landing. But what I did was landed, um, started shaking, couldn't quite understand what it was. Um, and then, you know, I thought this isn't getting any better. I'm slowing down and it's still not getting any better. It feels like it's getting worse a little bit. So the only thing that I have done is change the flaps on the way down, uh, obviously because I needed flaps to land. So I thought, Maybe I'll bring the flaps up. Um, I leaned forward, pushed my center of gravity forward in the plane, and that messed with the nose gear a ton. Um, so I, I brought it up. It started wobbling like crazy, and I realized I don't want to do that. So I brought it back down um, and just had to get off the runway as soon as possible. Um, after I brought it back down, I was thinking to myself, Maybe it's a flat tire. Uh, maybe I've got a flat, and I just I've landed hard with the brakes on. I've I've read ton uh, I've read a ton around flat tires and students who are terrible. Um, I'm really usually not that bad on the the brakes. Um, in fact, my instructor is uh, always telling me to use more brakes um, to to take an earlier taxiway. So I was trying to take a later taxiway. I wasn't in any rush, but um, yeah, that was. Uh, it was a bit scary my, for my second landing of the day. Um, probably would have been a lot scarier or uh, more nerve wracking if it was my first landing of the day. But second landing of the day, I didn't know what was going on. Um, I actually uh, tried to talk to uh, the tower uh, during, during all of that and I was confused and stuttering and saying, just get me, I went, I went off, I went off. <laughs> Uh, eventually got off, went around and looked, couldn't see anything. I didn't really know what I was looking for uh, at first, so I just I went to the FBO, parked there, looked around, um, couldn't see anything. So I thought maybe maybe it just the wheel got sideways. Um, let me try to go back up, and um, got back in, turned it back on, requested the taxi out to runway again, and I could not turn right. And that's when I called the, the tower back up. I was like, I gotta go back to the hangar. I can't fly today. Um, got back to the hangar, got up to a good, I don't know, a little, little bit brisker than a walk. And I could, I could turn right again. Um, rudder right, not, not right wheel right. Um, so not turning right, but rudder right. So um, get back to the hangar and start taking pictures. And, and you'll, see, you'll see in the picture. Um, that picture that I'm going to show right now, uh, that shows all of the uh, the things that went wrong with this nose gear as I as I landed. Uh, so the first thing, the very top, that shimmy dampener or damper, whichever you want to call it, does not go that way. It's supposed to be facing north south along with uh, the parallel uh, parallel to the plane. Um, that was facing perpendicular to the plane, so it broke. Um, and the piece of metal hanging underneath it uh, was what connected that to the, the nose gear strut. Um, that pulled off and started banging the shimmy dampener. Um, and you, if you zoom in, you can see scratching on the shimmy dampener. Um, so that, that's obviously 
bad, you know, that's gonna create a shimmy. Um, and I think as that was banging and shimmying, what it did was it, it connected somehow over and over again and beat the, uh, beat the right control arm strut nose gear um, control completely off of the strut. Um, so that control arm tube was completely removed uh, as well as the screw inside of the strut was broken. So uh, I don't know how I could have stopped that other than maybe just completely stopped on the runway. Uh, if you hear um, after this picture, you're going to hear a uh, you're going to get to watch both the outside view and the inside view on top of each other. And you'll hear about 40 seconds, 30 something seconds into it, you'll hear a crack. And that crack is when uh, I think the, the control tube broke. So yeah, um, it, it got quite a, quite a lot of views on Facebook. Uh, my in-laws called me and said, you're never flying a plane again. <laughs> uh, but no, I, uh, I don't think... It was anything I did. I talked to the maintenance uh, mechanic at the um, at one of the maintenance shops on, on the airport, and he looked at the landing. He looked at the um, the nose gear and said, "You know, I've, I haven't actually seen this happen before, uh, but I've I've seen similar things. And it's sometimes it's just an old part that wears out of stress." And um, he's actually learning to be a pilot as well. And he said it didn't look like that bad of a landing. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm curious if you have uh, a lot of mechanic experience, a lot of piloting experience, if you're an instructor, comment below and tell me what I did wrong. If I did anything wrong, um, other than it being a hard landing, I think I could have flared up more at the very end. Um, cause I, I feel like the nose and the, uh, the, the main gear hit almost the exact same time. Maybe the main gear just a little early. Um, but they were almost ex ex at the exact same time. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video today. And I hope, uh, hope you learned something uh, from my either mistake or the failure malfunction that happened on my flight today. condition clear below 1 2000 temperature 2 7 celsius dew point 2 1 celsius altimeter 3 0 all right let's uh we got mix carb heat um in for taxi we don't have taxi lights radios got the tower there and the master switch is on, avionics alternator on. Put the alternator in the checklist. Not, um, transponders on standby. I'm going to leave it on out. Uh, flaps are up. Keep out secure. Brakes are working. All right, we're going to do a run up here. Nobody around. Okay, okay. All right, run up. Parking brake we don't have, so we just hold. Tight, seatbelt secure, cabin doors. I'm gonna leave this open because it's a little warm. Actually, I'll shut it. I have to worry, I'll leave this window open. All right, um, flight controls. All right, let's check this flight control out. Figure out a good way to door this. way to store this. All right. I don't know yet. We'll see. Okay. All right. Flight controls. Goes up. Goes up. Up. Goes down. Even. All right. Uh, fuel selectors on both. Elevator trim set for 
take off. Fuel quantity I checked. That one. That one. That gauge is kind of off. Alright. Mix rich. And the uh, throttle 1700. 16. 1700. That'd be great if I could have that over here. Alright, um, let's go mag 1, down to 1750, or 1650. Mag 2, down to 1650. Carpet out, down to 1650, and pull idle. We're good, we're good. Radio, alright, um, instruments, oil pressure is high, but it's always high. Alright, um, suction gauge doesn't work, uh, engine instruments and amp meter. Chicago 15 Golf, runway 18 cleared option. 18 cleared option, 15 Golf. Good, bolts good, transponder set for altitude, wing flaps set for takeoff, lights. Um, only other light is a landing light. I don't need it. If that landing light works. There it goes. It must not work when just the master's on. Um, to get your brakes release. Okay. All right. So we'll get going. We're going to do a couple in the pattern. Maybe go out the practice area. Tower Skyhawk 6487 Bravo at the T hangers. Uh, would like to stay in the pattern with the weather. Cessna 6487 Bravo Springdale Tower, good morning. Runway 18, taxi via Alpha. Taxi via Alpha 18, good morning. 87 Bravo. I did not say I would like to taxi, I just said. I'd like to stay in the pattern. I guess that kind of assumed. There we go. Alright, the big citations have already left. Well, one of them has anyway. Got one other guy in the pattern right now. Do lean for taxi. So we don't build up carbon deposits in the engine unnecessarily. Taxing, I want to get my sunglasses. <sighs> Are we going to go taxi a little slower? All right. I'm going to text everybody. one in the pattern and go out and do some turns. A 
over by 412. Maybe a turn around the point. All right. Shut this window, I don't need that, I'm not too cold, hot. Get over these towers. Start 
my descent. Crabbing into the wind. I haven't been crabbing this way. Usually crabbing the other way. Alright. Turning left base, one way, runway 18. Let's start pulling back the power. 18, 1900 RPMs. Alright, seatbelt secure, fuel on both. Let's turn first. Seatbelt secure, fuel on both. 1700. Uh, car beat out, mixture rich, landing lights on. And we got a nice 500 foot per minute descent. Citation 356 here, Alpha Springdale Tower, good morning. Um, you're cleared to the Concord Regional Airport via the Spring 5 departure, then has filed. Climb and maintain 4000. Expect flight level 39 or 0, 10 zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency will be on 126.6, squawk 1505. JQS, Spring 5 is 5, 4,000, 390, 10, 26, 6, 5, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, 5, 6, 0, Oh, that's cool. These runway lights are flashing for me. There's two reds. Perfect. 85. Lined up for the runway. Tower, citation 6 year Alpha. We're ready to taxi. Citation 6 year Alpha. Roger. Is Shane with you? Negative. Not today. Roger that. Um, we have a notum for taxiway Bravo just north of uh, the Crawford Hanger. Uh, they did have some T-posts uh, driven right at the edge of the pavement there. They've taken them down, but there may be some obstructions. Uh, I don't know if you want to take a look at that or just taxi south on Bravo to cross the field. We're over here by the FDO. Okay, I'm sorry. I was looking up at the Crawford hangar. And uh, 6 year Alpha, runway 18 taxi via Alpha, and verify current weather. 18 Alpha, and we have the weather 6 year Alpha. I guess that's six whiskey echoes sitting over there on the other side. I don't know, they all been together after a while. <laughs> it says 8-7 Bravo, turn right there at Alpha 4, hold short of the parallel for citation traffic. Hold short of the parallel, 8-7 Bravo. System 1 5 Golf, runway 1 8 cleared option. 1 8 cleared option, 1 5 Golf. Repeat out, lean for taxi. I can clean up right now. There's a nice big jet. Big old jet. System 8 7 Bravo, follow the citation, runway 1 8 taxi via Alpha. 1-8 via Alpha, 8-7 Bravo. I'm gonna give that guy some room. I wanna get up higher than him. Faster and higher than him. I smell his fuel. Faster and higher. I bet you gonna send me the other way so I don't have to deal with his wake turbulence the whole time I'm turning. I hope he does anyway. Sends me right. And I'll 
I'll do another pattern, I guess. And then if he sends me left, maybe I can request. I'll just do one more. One slow. Look at that professional with the jet. His nose wheels right on the yellow line. Right on it. Come on, I can be a professional too. Let's get on that yellow line. Bill Teller, Citation 56, Whiskey Echo. Citation 56, Whiskey Echo, Springdale Tower. Hey, good morning, Citation 56, Whiskey Echo, looking for IFR clearance to Foxtrot Echo Tango. Citation uh, 56 Whiskey Echo is cleared to the Fremont Municipal Airport via the Spring 5 departure, then direct Neosho direct. Climb and maintain 4000. Expect flight level 32010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency will be 126.6, squawk 1677. Fremont, California, maybe? Up to the Foxtrot Echo Tango via the Spring 5 Neosho, then direct on departure 4320 in 10 minutes. Departure frequency 266, the squawk 1677, 5-6 Whiskey Echo. 30. Citation 6 Whiskey Echo, read back is correct. Fremont, uh, Cessna 7715 Golf, request taxi back to 18. Cessna 15 Golf, runway 18 taxi via Alpha. 18 via Alpha, 15 Golf. And tower, Citation 6 here, Alpha, is ready. Citation 3560 Alpha, runway 18, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 1860 Alpha. Get up before he gets up. Get up before he gets up. They usually take off towards the end of their runway, so I just gotta climb higher. I, I'm usually up before midway, midfield. That should be fine. I just gotta keep no dilly dallying. Straight up. up about three quarters of the midway field. Tower Citation 56 Whiskey Echo is ready to taxi with the weather. We're at the uh, northeast uh, hangar. Citation 6 here, Alpha, contact departure. Good morning. Oh, departure, have a good one. Citation 56 Whiskey Echo, Roger. Uh, we have a notum for taxiway Bravo just north of the Crawford hangar there. Um, there was some construction. Uh, T-post and netting up close to the taxiway, and they've taken some of it down, but I don't know if you can get through there or not. Uh, six Whiskey Echo, I can, uh, I'll just take a different route to play it safe. It looks like I probably can, but there's still some stuff to close. Okay, I appreciate that report. Uh, citation Six Whiskey Echo, turn left and taxi south on Bravo. Hold short of runway 18 Bravo 4. Left on Bravo, then hold short of 18 at Bravo 4, five, Six Whiskey Echo. Springdale Tower, Skyhawk 6487 Bravo, holding short 18. Skyhawk 87 Bravo, runway 18 clear for takeoff, enter left traffic. 18 clear for traffic. Or 18 clear for takeoff, 87 Bravo. Left traffic. Good morning, Tower 86 Plus, Mission Go North on Alpha, come in front of the terminal. A6 Tower, good morning, proceed north on uh, Alpha. Thank you, Tyler, for taking Extra rich, car beat in, flaps down, up, and full power. Let's go. Airspeed alive. 40. 55 and 60. Seventy. Seventy-five. All right, now I can climb. 
Citation 6 Whiskey Echo, cross runway 18 Bravo 4, taxi via Alpha. Cross runway 18 at Bravo 4, taxi via Alpha. 56 Whiskey Echo. Why is my turn not coordinated? Here we go, Pilot Skyhawk 7715 Golf. We are holding short of 1A. Ready to take off. Skyhawk 15 Golf, runway 18 clear for takeoff and our left traffic. Left traffic 18 clear for takeoff, 15 Golf. Tower 86. 86 Tower. Yes sir, you want me to wait for the citation to take off? 86, um, yes sir, if you don't mind, I'll let him go first. Yes, sir, I'll pull off right here and let him around me. A lot of citations here at this airport. Eight seven Bravo, extend down one. I'll call your base turn for uh, traffic. Extend down when you'll call base. Eight seven Bravo. Citation 6 Whiskey Echo, how soon will you be ready? 6 Whiskey Echo, we're ready for departure. Morning. Citation 5 6 Whiskey Echo, change your departure instructions. Fly runway heading, maintain 4000, runway 18 clear for takeoff. Fly runway heading, maintain 4000, runway 18 clear for takeoff. 5 6 Whiskey Echo. Cessna 87 Bravo, base turn at your discretion, runway 18 cleared for the option. My discretion, 18 cleared, 87 Bravo. Take off. A6, proceed on to runway 18. Tower A6, West Michigan, go north south on runway. A6, proceed on runway 18 southbound. Thanks, Tower, proceeding now. Traffic on the left base, do you have him inside? Okay, Golf, we do not have him in yet. Citation 6, Whiskey Echo, contact departure, good morning. Go to departure, good morning, Whiskey Echo, thanks. A little windy. 
Trigger power, 15 Golf, we have the system inside. Cessna 15 Golf, follow the Cessna on final runway 18, clear for the option. Number two in line, clear for the option 18. Alright, seatbelt secure, fuel on both, mix rich, car beat out, landing lights on. And I'm under 100, so I can start collapse right now. I think that was 20. Side north of uh, Crawford Hangar. Yes, sir. Yeah, there's still some confusion on um, who or what size aircraft can taxi. Uh, I see that they've taken the T post down, but we haven't had any more information on that. Yes, sir. Uh, we was talking with Mike and about everybody just coming down to Alpha 4 and crossing over, or Bravo 4. Okay, very good. We'll continue with that then. Thanks. Yes, sir, because their dirt pile's a little close for the citations, but like a Cessna, it would pass. Okay, very good. I'll continue that route then. Yes, sir. Thank you.
on already. Jeez, what the heck was that? Alright, let's try this again. Clear prop! Clear prop. I think my left, I don't think my right rudder's working. I guess it is working. I feel like it was that hard of a landing. Just noticed that this said fire missile. Three up, Alex. Seven seven one five Golf. Gonna taxi back on Alpha. That's approved. Just one five Golf runway one eight taxi B Alpha. Taxi B Alpha one five Golf. Now I'm taxiing just fine. I could turn right. Well, I'm not going to the.
Skyhawk 7715 Golf, holding short of 18, ready for takeoff. Skyhawk 15 Golf, enter left traffic, runway 18, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, left traffic, 15 Golf.